paman sa mga estudyante um, ng junior high school, ang nagkakamali pagdating sa pag-evaluate or pagsusolve ng algebraic expression sa math, lalo na pag grade 7 and grade 8, kasi sila yung mga parang bagong salta sa junior high school. And minsan, nabibigla sila kasi meron ng mga variables like X, Y, and then parang lahat ng ata ng alphabet sa sa, sa English alphabet na gamit na as variables. Now, my question is, can you solve this X plus Y squared or enclosed by a parenthesis squared? Or do you belong in the 90% of people or students who can answer that? Now, prove me that you're not. Okay? So, yun nga. Ang pinili ko na example ay x plus y enclosed by a parenthesis squared. Ito yung common na binibigyan ng mga teacher as an example. Now, kung tinan mo yung sagot dito sa x plus y squared or kung hindi ka kasama sa 90% na palagi magkakamuli, um, post this video, comment down your answer, yes, you heard me right. Yan. Iko-comment mo yung sagot mo doon sa comment section together with your full name kasi nga magkakaroon ako ng paraffle, guys. Yes, magkaraffle po tayo. Kasi, um, naka-one year na ako sa YouTube and because of your support, so syempre, um, medyo dumami subscribers ko and then yung watch hours ko ay mag-meet ko rin naman. Okay? So yun nga, magkakaraffle. Para sa susunod na video, i-announce ko yung may pag-jika siya ko. Yes. So, kung gusto mo sa kali, pause the video and then write your answer in the comment section and then together with your full name. So, let's start. So, yun nga, gaya na sinasabi ko, doon kita kasi, dahil meron silang idea about exponent, ang ginagawa nila, binibis-distribute agad nila yung exponent doon sa mga variables natin. Kaya, ang nagiging sagot nila ay x squared plus y squared, which is Wrong. Definitely wrong. Not with my dream really. So let's, um, let me, you know, um, make it clear to you or make you understand bakit my family. So magbibigay ako ng representation ng variable na x, x and y. So suppose the variable x is 1 and yung y natin ay 2. Kapag sinabstitute natin yung 1 and 2 dito sa dito natin, magiging This will be 1 plus 2 and then squared, right? Tapos, magiging ano yung 1 plus 2, 3, and then squared natin, the answer is 9. So, kung babalikan natin yung kanina na kung yung pagkakaalam nyo na x squared plus y squared, at in-substitute natin yung x and y, dapat 9 din yung magiging result. Now, tignan natin. So, if x is 1, so magiging 1 squared plus 2 squared, kasi nga y is 2. Your result is 1 plus 4 because 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, and your answer is 5. So this is wrong. Magkaiba, 5 and 9. That's why x squared plus y squared should never be an option or sh should never be an answer if we're going to evaluate x plus 1 squared. So paano ba natin i-evaluate ang x plus 1 squared? Now, Yung x plus y squared, eh, pwede naman natin, uh, di ba pwede sinabi yung exponent? Ibig sabihin, iminumultiply mo yung sarili mo. Um, Siyempre sa sarili mo, depend, ilang bilis ay, depende sa kung ano yung exponent. So this time, oh, ang exponent natin is 2. So ibig sabihin, sa sarili, dalawang meses. So pwede natin siyang maging um, x plus y times x plus y. Right? Yan. Okay x plus y, dalawang x plus y eh. So, we multiply. So, dahil meron na tayong ganito, um, sa product natin, di ba, product of two binomials, ang ginagawa natin, dalawang method. Pwedeng foil method or yung conditional way of multiplying. Parang similar to multiplying two numbers. Okay? Two digit numbers. Okay. So, using foil method, di ba, x plus y, x plus y, ito ba yung foil method? Ano ba yung foil? Pag sinabi yung foil, meron tayong first. Dati na tawag, siya yung x and x. First term, sabihin. So, magiging x times x. Tapos yung kuhin natin, yun yung outer term. So, ibig sabihin yung dalawang nasa tapas. Y. So, pag nilok, sorry. Pag nilok tayo natin yan, so magiging x, y. Plus, yung inner natin, yung dalawang nasa loob. Ito po, 
y and x. So, y times x. Then, plus, yung last natin, last terms, ay y and y. So, magiging y times y. So, pag susunod natin, this will be x squared. Ayan, lots of exponent. Kung paano, meron sa aking video dito sa YouTube ko, kung paano ba yung lots of exponents, inad lang yung exponent yan. And then, this one, the x y plus x y. So, I will, kapag magkatikat yung variables, alphabetically arranged up. Okay? Plus y squared. Now, x y and x y are similar terms. Meron din akong video kung paano ba yung similar terms, kung paano mag-add. Um, this one is more than this. May one na at may one to. So, parang 2xy. Kumbaga parang 1 apples is 1 apples, 2 apples. Okay? Plus y squared. So, this is the final answer. Squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, pero pala isang method. Yung traditional way of multiplying two binomials a by using this. x plus y and x plus y. So, ganito lang. Dito lang muna tayo. I-multiply natin yan. x squared. Tapos, diagonal naman, kapunta dun sa kabula, ito magiging x, y. Tapos, tapos na yung x dito sa baba, di ba, na multiply na sa dalawa sa taas, ito namang y. Multiply mo dun sa kadiagonal niya, sa baba na yung layer sa x, y, plus, yun naman sa y squared. So, this will be x squared plus dalawang x, y, 2x, y, plus y squared. So, this is just the same as this. Okay? Para yung same. Now, try natin i-substitute yung representation natin kanina na x and y as 1 and 2. So, this is your answer, di ba? x squared plus 2, x squared plus y squared. Kapag i-lalatag natin or i-substitute natin yung representation natin na kanina na 1 and 2, it will be 1 squared plus 2 times yung x muna 1 and then yung y muna 2 plus yung 2 mo as y and then squared. So, this will be 1 plus, because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 times 2 is 4, plus 2 squared ay 4, and the answer is 9. Tak na tinatandaan nyo po nila, 9 yung final answer. That's correct. Okay lang? Okay. So, yun po yung method, coin method in traditional way, na meron tayong pattern dito. Now, since x plus y ay pasok sa special product or yung square of binomial, meron po tayong pattern na sinusunod. Pwede nyo gamitin, pwede hindi. So, ang pattern natin ay f squared plus 2 plus ang pattern ay pattern formula plus y squared. Sorry, plus l squared. Yung f first term, yun yung x, and then yung last term yung y. Kasi hindi lang naman lagi yung x and y. So, yun yung una siya yung first, and then yung last term yung y. Sabi dito, squared daw natin yung first, so x, tapos lagi natin yung squared, Automatic yung 2, lapag lang natin, ano ba yung f? Ano ba yung last natin? y plus y squared. Okay? So, this will be x squared plus 2 x y plus y squared. So, same pa din yung answer natin using the pattern of the pattern. Sa lahat ng mga nakakama ng x squared plus 2 x y plus y squared, naso kayo sa ating wheel of name. So, kung sa kaya, pwede kayong manalo ng computers. Okay? So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and see you on my next video para malaman nyo kung nanalo ba kayo o hindi. Goodbye. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe ha.